Atlas. No idea which this one is. Studio Zero. NVIDIA GAMEWORKS and Speed Tree. Ooh, I'm so excited. I trust this will suffice. God smiles upon the generous. Oh, away with you! Back to your sexpit, beggar! Great. That's a nice word. Corruption everywhere. A land grotesque as its people. Yeah. You dreamt of utopia. You saw the tribes united as one. Oh. Oh, is that the king? That dream died long ago. You should have done the same. <gasps> no. He isn't going to. <gasps> oh my god. Your kingdom will perish alongside you. <gasps> You're the most evil of everybody. But he looked so pretty. Hand. He looked so pretty, though. I cannot fathom it. His majesty killed in his own bed. The Who could have done the it? The prince's grave had yet to wilt. Without an heir to wear the crown, what will become of the royal magic? Thus vulnerable, an invasion might undo us. From within or without, the state hangs on a precipice. It may even come to civil war. In dark times, we must stand together. Your Wait, eminence. the prince is also dead? Few could even enter the king's chambers, let alone draw close. And yet, and yet, his majesty's arcane power could deflect near any blade. With all the royal bloodline's magic, who could harm him at all? Shadows stir in the castle just as they did with the prince. What hellbound soul could end a royal life? Who would dare such atrocity? No. Luis. Who is Shame he? To die with no heirs. The prince was taken too soon. And only a king may wield the royal scepter, the very crux of his vaunted bloodline's magic, which made such a fine deterrent to war. One has to ask, them dead, who shall take the throne? You're looking really sus right now. Like, even if I didn't know that you did it, you did it. Like, that's how you look right now. That's how you talk right now, man. <laughs> Freaking Lewis. Oh, this looks more modern than I thought. Wait, what? That looks actually like our time. Huh? Okay, now we go into their world, huh? I'm confused what's happening. But I like the singing. Okay, there's, so there's a story happening, and apparently it was lost because it was ripped up. So maybe the people of this land don't remember how they came to be, or like, what's happening in the land. Oh yeah. I remember the transforming scene, like the basically the persona scene, scene of this game, because I actually played the demo on Gamescom, at Gamescom. And it was brutal. I had to stop actually during the cutscene because my demo time, my playing time was over and it was... Yeah, we're gonna get there probably pretty early. I think it was an early chapter that I played. Um, metaphor, Refantasio. So I guess I can welcome you now. Um, this is Commentary. I am Ari and you have stumbled upon at Video Game Girl on YouTube. So, this is our first episode. This is all we get, and I guess we're just gonna start it, man. Let's go. New game. The game just launched today. Uh, I actually got it yesterday, but it wasn't unlocked until this morning. Um, 
And yeah, I actually only found out later on that you could like pre-game the demo and it's actually the first chapter and the save carries over. So I guess I could have pre-produced, but I didn't know, okay? <laughs> so I'm here on day one, trying my best to bring you episodes. Anyway, the scheming man says, um, who's there? I can feel you watching me from a place beyond my side. Wait, this is like modern Japan, probably. Like, look, there's cars. Whoever you are. Whoever you are, please tell me, does our world pique your interest? Pardon my curiosity, but would you tell me your name? That is to say, tell me who you really are. The only one, wait, the one who meets my eyes across a strange threshold. Well, as I already said, my name is Ari. Your name is indeed Ari. Your name, uh, your name, the protagonist later. Wait, so I'm Ari, but the protagonist is an has another name. Okay, that's interesting. Ah, ah a most unusual name. One I've never heard in our world, which suggests to me you might reside in a world beyond ours. It is a curious thing. It is a curious thing that in your eyes, my entire world is but the dawn of a story yet untold. Wait, what? Oh, okay. So, to me, your world is just a story. I mean, kinda, yeah, I'm playing a game. Or oh, this is a fourth world break. This is a fantasy. Or, to put it another way, this is a fantasy. But can it truly, but can it truly be dismissed as something so far removed from you? If indeed, if indeed you wish to cross to our world for a time, I would first ask that you indulge one question. Is fantasy limited to the confines of imagination? Would you call it a powerless creation? Uh, I don't know, wait, what? Is fantasy limited to the confines of imagination? Um, would you call it a powerless creation? No, it has a lot of power. I agree with the first question. I would say yes. Would you call it a powerless creation? No. More than wishful thinking. More than, More than, thinking. Fiction. More than fiction. Something capable of affecting the realities beyond its bounds. This must be, this must be what you believe. Yeah, kind of. I confess, my own answer still eludes me. But consider, if fantasy is born from hope, a desire to make the world better than it is, then that hope can be manifest. Thus, wait, thus does change come, and thus is a fantasy forged into a new reality. Perhaps the story about to unfold before you will tell us. I'm thro thoroughly invested now myself. This is actually a beautiful explanation, I think, for like any storytelling. And like why we write books and produce movies. I mean, not all of them, obviously, but a lot of them. Anyway, so let this tale begin. Oh, difficulty. Okay, so regicide is when probably you, be you beat the game or something. Storyteller, for players who want to focus purely on the story, battles pose no threat of death. Oh, wow, that's too easy. Um, I mean, I do like it easy, but let's say, let's say, um, I think we can change the difficulty later on. I'm not sure if it's connected to, um, any achievements. Let me check. Yeah, so there's no achievement, uh, linked to difficulty. So I would say hard is a bit much. Easy might be a bit too easy for players who want to breathe through battles. It's difficult. If difficulty can be changed later on, see. So we start on normal, I would say. Um, so we can just go to easy if it comes too hard, but we will probably finish the game on normal, I think. Uh, I don't need a challenge right now. I'm, I have so many things to do, man. <laughs> normal is fine. Starting on normal difficulty, are you ready? Yes. Dude, I've waited so long for this game. I am ready. I was so hyped at Gamescom and I've actually been more hyped since I played the demo on game, uh, at Gamescom. Oh, starting already. Wait. Looks like we're in the clear. Hmm. The capital's just through this desert. Okay. Is it true that the king is dead. Aye, and the guards are more concerned with the funeral than keeping the roads safe. So now the monsters are roaming in broad daylight. No soldiers to stop them. Oh. Monsters, huh? I've certainly been hearing the stories. 
to say nothing of the vacant throne. There's a storm coming. Mark my She's words. the lady from the from the trailers. Oh boy. And I'm apparently ha hiding my fairy. I don't know why I do this, but I was spooked by them talking. Come on, let's see some respect for the militia. Us folk, we're commoners. No crown or church will save us. But Lord Luis will save us one and all. All we ask is a little tribute. You're with us or against us. And if you're against us. Wow. Such bandits. My guess is I'm gonna team up, team up with her and beat their butts. No? Oh, I'm giving them my money. Oh damn. Look at you. What have we got here? He's an elder. So he is. No old, no knife is. Filthy gremlin like you. What you got in the capital? Oh, so we're discriminated against, huh? What's this? Looks like you've been holding out on us, boy. That's my book. No, I'm not giving you my book, man. Freak you. It's my book. No. My book. Oh, he's running. Oh, no. <gasps> he dead. She shocked. Okay. Should have listened to us, chum. Oh, boy. Now fall in line. Oh, yes. Yes. She's not standing for this bullshit anymore. I like it. I got my book. Ouch. Uh oh. Oh, that's bad. I'm freaked. <laughs> that was quite the beginning. Okay, so wait, let me think what happened. Okay, so we were in a we were in a wagon. Apparently we wanted to go to the capital and then there were bandits oh that are actually working with Louise. You hear all that stuff and Louise they attacked us and we fell down. Okay. Well Ugh, this place already feels like a death trap. You hear all that stuff about Lord Louise saving us? Hey, you okay? Hey, you okay? You still got all your, limbs, still got all your limbs attached? Well, at least they didn't figure well, out our mission. Well, at least they didn't Definitely figure out our mission. Worse. Definitely could have gone worse. I mean, I don't know the mission, though. I mean, it pro they would probably be like, hey, did you hit, hit your head? Oh, I think I'm on the wrong side, right? You can't even see her. Let me change that. That's better, isn't it? I mean, I'm blocking a little bit of the text, but it reads, what mission and are you alright? Uh, I kind of want to say are you alright, but I'm more curious to the mission, so... What mission are you talking about? What mission? Come on. This Come on. No this is no jokes. time for jokes. You do know that if anyone finds you out who, do know are, that if anyone finds out over, who right? we really are, it is over, right? The mission's more important than The mission is more important than either of our lives. Of our lives. No if we screw this up, there's no going back. Yeah, that's why I asked kind of um I still don't know the mission. Now you cannot see the adorable loading icon, which is the fairy, but... Oh. You don't look hurt, though, so that's good news. You can move, right? I'm thinking we should find a place where we can see the whole area. Okay. Basic controls. Uh, use the movement keys, uh, hold... Oh, I can dash? Okay, and dodge enemy attacks. Wait, what? Some actions you can perform and... Uh, their corresponding controls are displayed at the okay, at the bottom. Okay. All right, you can view tutorials. All right. Let's go. So dash is like this, and I can run. All right. Where are we? I'm assuming the clouds Stop. mean enemies. Wait, I'm sensing something close. Don't move. Yeah. Yeah, those look especially dangerous, so watch out. I don't think you they've noticed us yet, though. Okay, so I'm not supposed to engage those. Press LT to use face sight. This ability lets you see what Gallica senses in the environment. When, wait, Gallica? 
So I guess that's our fairy companion. Uh, when you see an enemy you've never confronted before, it will shown as unknown. Prepare as best as you can. Okay. Let's try it. Oh, that's such a pretty animation. I love it. Strong ones ahead. You gotta be careful. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nope. Okay, where am I going? I'm going to. I need to go to the left. Nope. I'm gonna run. Careful now. Oh shit! There's even more things. Yikes! I think we're in a little over our heads. Yeah, I noticed. I noticed. I'm just trying to run by everyone. I hope that hope that's the right thing to do. Look. Oh, the animations and everything is so pretty. I love it. Love this game already. The art style is just impeccable. What is this? Is this the capital? Looks kind of dark. Just checking. Just checking, but you do remember what we're here to do, right? No, I already asked. Refresh my memory, please. Right. Right. Uh, right. What am I doing again? I don't know. I don't know the mission that is more important than our own lives. First, the royal capital. First, we get to the royal capital and let get you let wait and get you enlisted as a guardsman at the army's recruitment center. This could decide the fate of this could decide the fate of the whole country. We either do our jobs or we die. And if it's all the same to you, I'd rather stay alive. So we gotta see this mission through. Come on. Come on, we don't want the sun to go down on us in the wastes. Let's pull ourselves together and get back on the road. You know what they say. You know what they say. Anxiety, Anxiety breeds, breeds the world's cruelest monsters. monsters. I mean, fairies, I mean say that fairies say that at least. I can at least cast my usual. I can at least cast my usual small spell comforts, for you. Right? It's the small. Com it's the small comforts, right? What did she give me? Right. It's as though music is playing directly in my mind. The effect of Gallicat's magic is inspiring. Wait, I'm getting music as inspiration. <laughs> what? Music was the first magic this world has ever known, after all. Makes the road a little easier. Wow. This is such a funny explanation for background music. Dude, like the icons from load the loading screen is so cute. Hey, look. Over there. That's a road, isn't it? What a relief. Grand Trad is already inside. Let's go. Almost there. Let's keep moving and try to stay out of sight. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna run through it. Yep, we're safe here. Strong Do you think? Gotta be careful. Okay, so they're strong. Run! Yep, I'm running. I'm running. All right. <gasps> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Wait, there was an item though. I want that. Run! I don't know what I picked up, but it hurt. It hurt to get bitten. I don't want to get bit again. That's bad. What? But. I dodged everything. Oh no, they followed me. Ah! This land of eight tribes and three nations, all blessed by the power of magic. The United Kingdom of Ukronia. The year is 785. Ukronia is shaken to the core by the sudden death of its king. Anxiety breeds dissent among the tribes. Disparities tear them apart, and no mortal mind remembers the heroic tales upon which their land was built. And apparently, of fantasy, may this faded world be painted anew. And apparently, you either have pointy ears or horns. And we are something else. O oh, Great Seeker, Bearer of Fantasy Empowered. 
Hear my wish and come forth from my epoch of glory. That was too fast. <laughs> Alright. I guess we reached the capital now. Ooh, doesn't look too bad. Oh, there's a lover spare. Get over with it, man. Drop the dog. <gasps> They're hanging him. I've done nothing wrong. Lying dog. Don't try to deny it. You trample the law for the fun of it. Let it be known, for misuse of an igniter, you will hang by the neck until death. <gasps> oh shit. There's no way that crowd is going to listen to anything a Paribus said. <sighs> Such a shame. Why you, spare some coin? Oh wait, so there's also other species. Careful. So they have dog ears. Uh, don't you have any street smarts? Come on, kid. Yeah, they probably would have jumped him if they saw that he had money. Didn't we give our money to the bandits now? Oh, she wants the jewelry. <laughs> On our mission, right? That we still don't know what it is. What is an elder? Looks like a human to me. Ah, so many things to learn. I wish I knew everything already. Also, look at that cute little. Oh, I guess you can see it. I can't really move my avatar enough. The capital's incredible. The capital's incredible. Just look at all the different tribes. You never see this kind of diversity out in the countryside. Not that it's very balanced. Not that it's very balanced. I see more clamards. Clemars, okay, and Roussant than anyone else. So those are probably the people with the, the pointy ears and the horns. I probably the Clemars are the one with the horns, right? Which, mean the dopey Which means the dopey elder kid's gonna stick out like a sore thumb. And try to keep your head down, okay? Hey, did you hear what hey. saying? Wait, that gossip lady, okay. Hey, did you hear what they saying about his majesty? They say it wasn't, they say it wasn't illness at all. I heard it was foul play. Assassination. Shh. Careful who hears what you say. Well, it's just like the prince, isn't it? They say he was attacked in the dead of night. A war of succession is coming, I tell you. Sounds like monsters have been prowling the countryside. And they're sending the guard to deal with them. The army's really gone to hell. It's far, a far cry from when we had Count Lewis at the helm. I'll tell you that much. Hard to see how the nation can come, Hard to see how the nation can come back from this. We really have to ask if the prince was still alive. We we'd not have to ask if the prince was still alive. Okay. Oh, she looks. Hmm. Okay. So does she know that he was assassinated? Oh, we get a flashback. Yeah, this is a flashback, I think. The king dead. His son the king stricken. dead. His son the stricken. The Are there none left to bear the weight of the crown? We've done all. We've done all in our power, but not even the kingdom's best, the saint, could purify his affliction. Over ten years, he has languished, Over ten under, years, this he has languished under this curse. How much curse. longer, can, How his much longer can his body hold out? No doubt his Is this the prince? Protest. Did we know him? So Apparently we did. We have no, choice. no doubt his highness would protest. But since he cannot, we have no choice. For the man who cursed, For the man who cursed his highness and murdered our mercy. king, there can be no mercy. I've never thought I would have to ask this of you, but there are so few of us now. There's no one else to turn to. Will you infiltrate the military to deliver a, a message to our contact there? 
This is your mission. For all our sakes, you cannot fail. Oh. So that's our mission. Finally, someone told me. <laughs> I don't know. Why did nobody tell me? Like, she could have just... Okay. Hey, you listening? Hey, are you listening? Oh. Well, I guess I can't blame you for feeling nostalgic. You and the prince were pretty close. Anyway. Anyway, getting to the capital was only the beginning. Now comes the real high stakes part. You gotta go get enlisted so we can meet up with our operative. Remember? Nobody here knows who we are. Nobody here knows the prince might still have a claim to the throne. That means if we get busted, that's it. Nobody's gonna save us. Wait, if the prince. Wait, so the prince is still alive then? I'm confused. Yeah, there was something about the curse. I don't know, man. Step one. Let's Step one. Let's figure out where the recruitment center is. Shouldn't be too hard, considering the need for soldiers. So? Do you know where we're going? Feel free to admit that you've lost and make me and ask me for advice. Uh, press RB to open the local map. If you're unsure of what to do, press uh, Y to ask Galica. I guess. <laughs> Wait, Galica always has good ideas, or so she th thinks. Okay. Um, save your progress. I guess we can do that. All right. Um, okay, let's look. Oh, let's look around. I don't want to run actually. Hello? May I ask you to step away from the accumulator? What go that goes double for one of your tribe. Uh, accumulator? Looks like you don't know anything, how pathetic. If you have no business here, then be gone. You're getting in the way of my work. Okay, well, sorry. Hmm. Ah, it's an adder. Oh, it's one of your kind in the grand in the grand tread. Uh, what's wrong with being with me being here, ma'am? Isn't it obvious? The church has made clear the elder weird devilish magic that defies the teaching of sanctism. <laughs> devilish magic, she says. If you were so magical, I doubt you would have it so hard in life. She's aggravating, but let's not cause a scene. Damn. Okay. So I'm a devil's thing. I'm dark magic. Or I can wield it, I don't know. Hello. Huh? Wow. <laughs> as long as the Sanctifex... Sanctifex what? What did you say? Look over there, you can see the royal palace. No wait, that's not right. That's where the Grand Cathedral is. At least I assume so, since it's off the main street. It seems to me Sanctism is really privileged around here. Even more than so in the monarchy. Okay. Hmm. I don't get anything that's said. <laughs> An elder, huh? Pretty unusual in these parts. Mm, no, I'm not trying to be rude. Just mind yourself. The city ain't the friendliest to us inferiors. I appreciate the advice. <laughs> yeah, be careful. Or they'll get to you. Just like all the pep like all us peri peripus. Oh, she has like little bunny ears. I like that. Okay, let's just go to the academy. Uh, academy, uh, wait. The military enlisting thing. Look at that. The new model is out now. I could be out here signing spells of a mas uh, like a master if I had one of those. Okay. So you get magic by wearing this? I guess that's the big city for you. Everyone and their mother has a magic igniter. So many different types too. Now I want one. 
for myself. Yeah, I want one for myself now. Yeah, until you see, yeah, the, price until you see the price tag. Can't imagine what it's, Can't like, imagine what it's like having to wave around some shiny stick to use magic. Me? I can whip up magic anytime I like, and I can even see the magla in the air, though I'm not exactly an archmage. Ah, so these uh, little triangle pieces are magla, huh? Wonders never cease. A fairy and an elden child. Are you new to our fair city? Well... I suggest well, I suggest you keep a low profile. Trust me, Trust me when I say you don't want to catch the eyes of the lords and ladies. Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I run this humble shop. Are you in the market for an igniter? Here's something that might catch a foreigner's eye. This is modeled after the royal scepter and will make a perfect souvenir. Uh, the royal scepter? You've really never heard of it. You've really never heard of it. Wow, where do I even start? Um, a symbol and, a instrument, symbol of and instrument of the crown's sovereignty. Passed down through passed generations. Down through generations. If, you if you believe the legend, legend it houses it incredible has magic, world-shattering power. World. More practically, More practically you, you might call it the, the world's world. most potent magic igniter. And in the king's hands, the king's it was enough of a deterrent to starve off invasion. Just now he's dead, no with no living heir either. Tragic isn't, Tragic, isn't it? Kingly magic is of little use without a king. You picked a bad time, you picked a bad time to visit, boy. I don't know, I don't know when you he why you're here, but there's trouble brewing. I keep that in mind. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. A word of caution, then. A word of caution, then. Your survival, your survival is your own responsibility. Well, that was, well, that was an unnecessary ominous statement. She has a point, though. We need to be careful. Anyway, anyway, we don't have time to hang out and chatting with locals. We got a recruitment office to find. Let's head there. So the royal funeral is to take place at the Grand Cathedral. Mm -hmm, okay. People are talking about stuff. <laughs> royal Capital, Grand Trad. Grand Cathedral. Regolith. Okay. So I guess that's like a borough or something. I was hoping that we'd blend in with the crowd and no one would notice that you're an elder, but the pe people here have sharper ears than I thought. I sorry. <laughs> they also have sharper ears, though. We don't want to draw attention, but hiding your tribe is only going to make it worse. People may insult you, but do your best to stand tall. All right. Easier said than done, I'm sure, but it's for the sake of the mission. And on that note, the recruitment center we're looking for should be just ahead. Alright, let's go then. Um, Got a new mem memorandum, what is that? Actually, memorandum. Okay, so recruitment center. A center located in every city for people to apply to join the army. For those without families or means, volunteering is one of the quickest way to earn money and social credibility. Recruitment is always is not always open, but concerns about public safety due to the sudden death of the king, as well as monster outbreaks in the area have led to an unusually long recruitment period in the royal capital. Sanctism, a monotheistic religion devoted to the worship of the, of the one God, the Almighty. The religion of majority across the United Kingdoms. Okay. Uh, its sanctus preached that uttering the prayer Kosul Closere, Closere is one's whole heart uh, will reach God, bringing salvation. It is the state religion and the sanctus... Sanctus hierarchy is deeply intertwined with the kingdom's politics. Currently, the crown theocracy is at the heart of the kingdom's political affairs. Okay, magic. Oh, that's a bit much right now. Gauntlet runner. 
often called runners as shorthand, a general term for magic-powered semi-automated uh, vehicles designed for traversing the wastelands and either overcoming or con circumventing local wildlife threats and magical phenomena, traveling the wilds on foot or even in lightly armed carriages as historically has historically been incredibly dangerous, as we saw, making any long-distance trip life-threatening risk. Or a scepter, I think we already got this. Um, hmm. Yeah, yeah, we already got this. Uh, Royal Magic. Maybe the most important thing is... Oh yeah, Elder. Okay, so, the ninth tribe, distinct from the commonly known eight tribes... Wait, so there's eight tribes, but there's also plus one, and we're the plus one, great. They are condemned by the Sanctus Church for inheriting a dangerous magic heret heretical to the teachings of the church. Oh, okay. Their population is so small that even to see one in public is rare, and they face greater discrimination than any other tribe. In fact, many outside the main cities don't believe they even exist. Each of the eight tribes possesses unique physical traits, making them recognizable as a, at a glance, such as the Glamour's horns. I was right! So the Glamour's are the ones with the horns, and the Rusanta's long ears. The Elder Tribe, however, bears no such distinguishing feature, and thus is regarded as inferior beings. Okay. Uh, the Clemmer Tribe. The Clemmer Tribe composes a large, the largest population in all the Allied Kingdoms. The most distinct feature are the horns which grow on their body, on both sides of their heads. Clemmers have a broad diversity of facial and body types, which has essentially made them average. Uh, the Ukrainian royal family are Klemmer, and members of this tribe hold a majority of important positions within the government, leading many Klemmers to internalize the beliefs that they are the kingdom's most preeminent tribe. Klemmers value freedom and dislike illogical restraint. They enjoy cultivating discussions, but do not always consider the situation or appropriateness of doing so, which occasionally leads to conflict. However, some studies suggest this disposition is what drives them to seek government positions and other important offices. I kind of want to know more about Gallica, yeah. A fairy who accompanies traveling... Traveling boy? So that's me, I guess. On his journey, uh, doubling as a chaperone for her special mission. Sh uh, her diminutive size excludes her from part participating in phys physically in battle, sorry. Uh, but her special fairy traits allow her more proficiently than traveling boy. <laughs> Um, proficiency, sorry, than traveling boy when it comes to sensing magla and knowing magic. Though she can become heated, I think we're gonna change our name any second and this is just a placeholder, but it's kind of funny. Though she can become heated when her personal values are tested, she is reassur a reassuring travel companion. Forden. Oh, we already got a character here. Avestium Forden. Uh, oh, he's, he's the head of the church. I don't really want to read this right now because that's a lot. The prince, so this is actually the prince. I kind of want to read about him though. The son and heir of the throne of king whatever. Uh, more than 10 years ago, a mysterious attack in the royal palace left him afflicted with a deadly curse. Oh, I thought it was recent, but I guess it was 10 years ago. And he's like kind of presumed dead in the sense that he's just out of order. I see. A mysterious attack in the royal palace left him afflicted with a bad, deadly curse. The curse took its toll on his body, and though he bravely endured treatment, his recovery was interrupted several years later, when he and his closest aides suddenly vanished from the castle without a trace. The king exhausted all possible means to find him, but was ultimately unsuccessful. He was formally declared deceased three years ago, and a royal funeral was held in his honor. Wait, but we were standing with him with like this old scholar and that old lady and we recently got this mission like we c couldn't have known this like three years ago that the king would be assassinated right like so we know where he is okay that's weird okay so this, these are the elves uh, one of the most uh, popular tribes of the uni United Kingdom, second only to the Clamour. Long pointed ears are their most distinguishing feature. They often boast excellent physiques. Oh, interesting. Which has given them superior martial pr prowess. That we could see in that red haired woman. Um, 
Resented women are stronger than most men of, the, of other tribes. Interesting. Many inevitably work in the military and often hold key offices. They are considered as influential as the clamor, and the two tribes are sometimes called the prevailing tribes. Many Rusanta pride themselves of out, on outperforming others in strength, while this can be perceived as a self-disciplined competitiveness. On the flip side, there are many with a belligerent temperament, obsessed with proving super superiority in any situ situation. And then we have the ones, the poor ones, the little cat and dog ones. A tribe con recognizable by bestial ears and a tail. There are many variations of in their hair and skin colors, including cold colored skin not seen in other tribes. They are physically ad adept and often honest with their emotions, giving them a reputation for hedonism, for better or worse. They are drawn to parties <laughs> That's funny. and festivities, and while this having heavy-go-lucky charm is often to their credit, it can also seem reckless. Due to a stereotype, they are looked down upon by other tribes, which prevents them from securing a foothold in the politics department, despite being nearly as populous as the Rusanta and Klemmer tribes. What? Okay. The discrimination against them is especially obvious in large cities. Definitely. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna read this later, man. I just wanna know if I missed a page. Oh, I did. Well, we're gonna read this later. Same here. Oh, wait. This is maybe important. Consequently, uh, any king of Ukronia must be well versed in magic, and the boon of royal lineage is not enough to ensure success to the throne. Historically, there have been many cases where an offshoot member of the prince's family has become king, when the bloodline's most direct inheritor was judged not to have enough magical aptitude to truly wield the royal scepter. That was interesting. Let's continue. <laughs> Oh, you have a funny head, man. You there. Young man, might I interest in you, uh, you in our shop's wares? This is no ordinary mustery shop. Oh, um, we're actually in the middle of something. We've got something to do at the recruitment center. The recruitment center? If you're lost, it's the large building down the street to the left. Stop when you have time. I do business here all the time, so if you're in the area, do stop by. Huh. Alright, so to the left, so this thing, huh? Things felt better when Lord Lewis was still there. Okay. So they're just talking about the same things. Where are you going? That's not the way to the recruitment center. Oh, sorry. I thought that was the center. Ah! What? Where am I going? Wait, did I already miss it? Is this the recruitment center then? Oh yeah, I look at the map. It is. <laughs> sorry. That must be the recruitment center. That must be the recruitment center. Yeah, I I guess so, since you brought me back here. I'll let you take it from here. I'll it let you take it from here. It should be pretty straightforward. Oh, and if they start, oh, and asking, if they start questions, asking questions, just, just be as honest, honest as you can. Lying will suspicious. only make us more suspicious. So long as you don't compromise the mission, you're fine. Good luck in there. Good luck in there. Knock him dead. Well, thank you. Okay, you've got this. <clears throat> a blue blood, are you? The army's no place for velvet swatted lodgings. Why are you here? Perhaps your noble family collapsed on its own weight. Is it that? Lineage seems a strange measure for a soldier's wife. I'm looking to enlist. I'm looking to enlist. Is that enough for you or not? Okay, small spoiler, because I already played the demo, I know that he's important. <laughs> or like, no, I didn't play the demo, I played like the playtest in at the Gamescom. I'm looking to enlist. Is that not enough for you? An uppity one, An uppity one are you? Fine, Lordling. Fine, Lordling. Welcome, Welcome to the guard. To the guard. Well, it will be your privilege to die screaming and bloody in service of your country. But mark my words, war will turn your arrogance to piss. When your corpse is plugged from the mud, do not try to look, pet uh, do try to look patriotic. Rousing words, Captain. You think threats will buy loyalty? No wonder no one respects the guard anymore. 
But I'm here now, so perhaps the kingdom isn't a lost cause. Insolent pup, you will learn your place. Don't, the healers have enough on their plates already. Ugh. Be gone and be thankful that you're still in one piece. Alright, next, hurry it up. <laughs> An elder? I thought your kind was long gone. Wait. His his voice was like in the distance. Like I could hear him talk. What the hell? I'm just gonna read it uh, one more time because like this was way like the volume was way too low. It was really echoey. Huh, an elder. I thought your kind was long gone. Age eighteen. An orphan too. The army can always use more of those. You can hear the voice, can you? So, what brings you to enlist? Dude, like, this is wrong. Can I go into the menu? No. I kind of want to replay this now. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna load, okay? Alright, so guys, to fix this, or try and fix it, I'm just gonna crank up the volume a lot, so I cannot talk. Uh, but then you will hopefully hear the voices of the characters. Good luck in there! Knock him dead! Okay, you got this. Hmm. <laughs> A blue blood, are you? The army's no place for velvet swaddled lordlings. Why are you here? Perhaps your noble family collapsed under its own weight. Is that it? Lineage seems a strange measure for a soldier's worth. I'm looking to enlist. Is that enough for you or not? An uppity one, aren't you? Fine, lordling. Welcome to the Guard, where it'll be your privilege to die screaming and bloody in service of your country. But mark my words, war will turn your arrogance to piss. When your corpse is plucked from the mud, do try to look patriotic. Rousing words, Captain. You think threats will buy loyalty? No wonder nobody respects the Guard anymore. But... I'm here now, so perhaps the kingdom isn't a lost cause. Insolent pup! You will learn your place. Don't. The healers have enough on their plates already. <sighs> be gone, and be thankful you're still in one piece. All right, next. Hurry it up. Huh, an elder? I thought your kind was long gone. Age... Eighteen. An orphan, too. The army can always use more of those. So, what brings you to enlist? Alright, so yeah, apparently we have a sound bug. I really hope that's gonna get fixed because this just sucks. I didn't realize that almost everything seems to be voiced. I was voicing it myself because I didn't hear their voices, but apparently there are voices. Anyhow, um, why am I enlisting? I guess I want to fight for change. I want to fight for real change. Lofty words for a gutter rat with an empty coin purse, no? So, what can you bring to our beloved core? Any skills to speak of? Um... I got a sharp mind, I would say. I've got a sharp mind. Yes, you and every unschooled troglodyte. Right, last order of business. Make your mark or sign your name if you're actually literate. Oh, I actually have to pick a name. I mean, they told me, but I'm still a bit confused. Give me a second. Alright, I have thought long and hard about this. Actually, I don't have a good name. I had to really think hard and I thought maybe I'm gonna take like an old German name. And uh, I looked at a couple of them and there's one that's a bit weird. Um, I wouldn't usually pick this, but I kind I kind of wanted to go for something epic, but not too epic. Like not like Siegesmund or like Siegfried or like who knows. 
Uh, but something that is a bit uncommon, a little bit epic, but not really too much, still kind of normal. But yeah, anyway, there was one name that kind of stood out to me and I don't know why. And it, I think the description or like what it means also kind of uh, fits. So I'm I'm going to take the very weird name of a trout. Uh, let me see how it's... This is, so this is Troutwin. <laughs> it's pronounced Troutwin, so it's not that hard to say in English either. That was also important. And it kind of relates to uh, Troutwine. Troutwein. So that's like a kind of wine that you uh, drink. And it actually is kind of uh, translated or the meaning is a dear friend, a beloved friend. And I think that kind of works for our protagonist but because apparently we have a connection with the prince and i think that might be really nice later on so just for the people that are interested trout uh trout is uh basically you it's it's the same it's it's the same word kind of as uh trust somebody as trust um uh but it also in middle old german it meant uh loving somebody and win was also a old word for friend. So there we go. Um, beloved friend. And I'm just going to pick that. <laughs> it's my character. It's going to have a weird name. Okay. Can I just... I never can... Okay. Why do I have like uh, one character? Okay, never mind. Yeah, I'm done. Why do I have no ne no sound now? I think I fixed at least that sound problem. Probably not the voices though. You know your letters, do you? We'll get some use out of you yet. All right, lad. Welcome to the guard. Yes. I'm sure you heard about the monster sighting, so stay sharp out there. We're short-handed as it is, so be a good lad and try not to get killed on your first deployment. You can pick up your kit at reception. Standard issue guardsman armor and igniter. Kingdom property! So if you break it, it's coming out of your commission. On your way now. Up to. Next! Alright, well, I resetted the audio so that we have some music. Uh, I actually you know what I'm gonna restart the game maybe that will fix the voices let me just do that real quick all right so that didn't work I tried it didn't fix the voices I'm sorry what a long line guess we've got no choice but to wait our turn all right let's talk to people though they said tribe don't matter in the army but they'll probably put me front up front as a meat shield not that I find better work though Wish I could serve Count Louis. His army is built on merit, so even Papyrus stand a chance. Papyrus, I think. Blasted, I came to enlist because I heard you can make a quick re uh, reeve here, but they really make you work alongside creepy elder. Uh, a pap a Paripus. Okay, so Paripus is the name. A Paripus I can deal with, but an elder are right. In uh, but elder are right ominous. Where did you hear that? <laughs> God's own scriptures, that's where. Guess you can't expect an elder to know shite. Let him say what he wants. Fighting someone like him would just be a waste of energy. Oh, yeah. Great. Oh, hey, there's the guy that listed up in front of us. Like, he was in the line, and he's apparently a noble. Whoa. You're enlisting as well? The line starts behind me, if so. Or was there something you needed? Um, I'm just curious, are you really a noble? I take it you overheard my interview. Yes, guilty as charged. I am a noble, but just a country countryside son of a lord. My family is of no real consequence. Well. well, let's just say I have my own circumstances. I'm volunteering to fight in order to protect the kingdom. Foolish or not. Hmm. What about you? Whatever. You're so young, are you enlisting too? Well, not much choice if you don't have the money or a job. 
Reeve makes a good world go round, as it says, as where. Well. Okay, Reeve is the currency, I guess. You want a magic igniter? Join the queue. Cutting only. Cutting's only gonna get you shoot out. Okay. I guess we have to. How do I. Can't even spell your name? Bloody Paripus. The captain seems like a. The captain seems like a jerk, but it's for the sake of the mission. We just have to put up with him for a while. Eavesdropping won't get us anywhere. Let's hurry and get in line. Okay, but how do I do that, though? That's my next question. Like this? Like, where do I just... <laughs> I'm just gonna cut the line. What? You're cutting in line, too? Everyone will get the igniters in order. Huh. No one ever follows direction. Why don't you thugs come in here? Okay, but how do I... Ah, join the queue. Oh, wow, there's just a random... Okay. Found it. It's not harder than it should have been, honestly. I heard they get sightings. I heard they get sightings. What? Of those huge monsters? What? Of those huge monsters? You think that's you why we're alone, soldiers? Monsters? Wish they had told us before we signed up. What did they call them? What did they call them? Something like, hum... Oh, I guess the guy in front in front of us is done. Next. Another clamor. Another clamor. Wait. No. no. You don't look like the no, others. Surely not. Surely not. An elder. An elder? First, First of your kind I've ever seen. seen. Move it. Move it. Priority There's around. a priority around here. We're arming squires. We're aiming. Squ uh, we're arming squires and children Which with igniters now. A waste of good gear. It's better off in my hands. It's better off in my hands. Yeah. Give it here. Brute force, crude insults. The <sighs> See, their voices cannot be heard. It's so sad. I'm just gonna voice them for now, but it's it's upsetting. This is what happens when you play a, thi a game day one. Brute force and crude insults. The world is yours for the taking. Care to say that again, boy? Care to say that again, boy? We all have our reasons to enlist. Now get back in line. I wish I could hear their voices, man. We all have our reasons to enlist. Now get back in line. Oh, another, oh, another high, high and mighty clamor, clamor, isn't it? You think, you think your pretty words, words will measure up to pure Rusanta strength? Oh, forget the, oh tribes. forget the tribes. This is a matter of pride. Now, yours both an apology. Come on, no fighting in the ranks. Sorry for making a scene. Sorry for making a scene. You're yes. right. I had it handed. No, you didn't. Thanks. Thanks. You didn't have you to do that, though. Just felt like stepping Just in. Felt like stepping Don't, in. Worry Don't worry about it. Well, see you around. Well, see you around. Try and try not to die out there. Don't make my job, Don't any, make my job any harder, please. Here, Here your igniter. Right. Cinder Igniter. These okay, thank you. Come These days most uh, come with their own magla crystals, so with practice anyone can use magic. To an extent, anyway. It's not the sort of thing you can master in a day. For now, newbies like you best focus on surviving. The thing around his neck is apparently a magic igniter. The captain I spoke with earlier had one too. They must take on many different forms, like I saw on the main street. And take this oh, and take this too. Protect, protect it with it. your life. Royal Capital Vicinity Map. Why would I protect it with my life? Are the monsters gonna read the map? <laughs> wow, that's a real map. wow, it's a real map. It's dangerous to even, it's dangerous to even wild, chart the wilds, but this is, but this is full of details. Only the military oh, could pull this together. Listen up, striplings. Listen up, striplings. My name is Captain Klinger, and as of this moment, you miserable lot are under my control. I'm sure you all have heard about our forces being tied up with the funeral proceedings for His Majesty, but if you think you're on crushing security detail, think again. First, you will be deployed to a fortress at the northern border, and there you will be trained into true guards. Our veterans there will teach you the one thing you need to master if you are to survive. Pain. Perfect. That's Perfect. Exactly where That's exactly where our contracts hold up. Enjoy tonight's sleep. Enjoy tonight's sleep because it's the last full night's rest you will get. Dismissed. Dismissed, sorry. God damn, I wish we had the voices.
Ugh. Look at all the other recruits. Really Look at all the other recruits. They really are desperate for new blood. Oh, I think this is actually where the demo started at Gamescom that I played. Like, you could pick different points to enter, but I think this is where mine started. Oh, right. Oh, right. I know, know, I know you don't like. know what our contact, know uh, contact looks like yet, but he will know you by your sword. He'll also know right away why we've come. He's also, he will also know right away why we've come. And don't worry, I will recognize him. Well, the charming captain is probably right. We should get rest before tomorrow. Hey, you awake? Yeah. Yeah, I'm awake. I'm awake. Sorry to bug you. Sorry to bug you. Look, I just look. I just have a lot on my mind. Can't seem to fall asleep. I'd heard about what it was like in the capital. I heard about what it was like in the capital, but still, when you hear and see all of this prejudice out in the open, it's a lot. Are you okay? Dude, there was a voice line, do you see? Because like the pop-up of the option came after she was finished. That's so sad. It never gets easier. It never gets easier. Yeah, I could tell. Yeah, I could tell. Try to put it behind you, okay? Some people are even saying, people are even saying it's the lesser tribe's fault that the monsters are showing up at all. These are the same kind of people, the the kind of people who burned down your village, remember? I'd rather not think about that, actually. I'd rather not think about it. Oh, oh anyway, you're right. Sorry, sorry. I dropped drop it. it. The prince was kind to take, the you, in. Was kind to take you in. He cared more about, cared who, more about who you were than what you were. I can you see why you'd want to repay him. Oh, speaking of, oh, speaking he's, of the he he's the one who gave you that book, right? Can I see it? Can I see it? Sure. Sure, I guess. I guess. I gotta say. I've gotta say, I've been curious. curious. Thanks. Thanks. The book that we protect so much, huh? Oh, is it a story about our world? Like the real world? Is this what you call a fantasy story? So it's a fantasy, so it's a fantasy world, world made up by the author. The, the prince loved those stories. kinds of stories. Okay, let's oh, let's see. It so says the young traveler was amazed by the world he saw. In this world, there's, In this only, world, one there's only one tribe. All people, All people accept another, and no soul is born into discrimination. Wow. wow. So, not so not even any fairies? I guess less differences, differences means less to argue over. In such a world, there is no need for sorcery. A megapolis is built through learning and hard labor. Those towers of glass that reach the heavens. Safe nights with no dark shadows. Busy streets well traveled. And in the laws of these emotionally satisfied people, it reads, all lives are equal. Wow, I see. No magic, no tribal conflict, and equality for all. It really does sound like a fantasy, but it's strange to feel envious of a fictional world. Hey, are you asleep already? You know how hard it is for me to turn these pages on my own, right? Ah, well, guess I'll just read it more. Uh, read more later then. Good night. Good night. Very interesting. So the prince gave me a book about the real world. Uh, like our world. That's very interesting. Yep, I want to save. Shouldn't you be resting? I'm fine. In fact, I'm glad we have this chance to talk. I've been reading, and I hope that someday we can make our kingdom like the place in this book. You said it was some kind of fantasy novel, didn't you? Mm. Our lives are decided at birth, by tribal purity, or by the differences that make us who we are. I don't want that to be the world we live in. The Elder here are a perfect example. If you'd not sheltered me, I would never have survived. And yet... They burned your home down. It's tragic. And no one should have to suffer so. 
Someone needs to fix... <coughs> you okay? <coughs> Don't push yourself so hard. Reality is much too cruel. I know that. But I'll fight it. I'll fight to the end. I'm a prince. But I need to be a hero. One worthy of the throne. A hero? One who can lead. A beacon who will pierce the darkness when all seems lost. My father taught me that. In his stories, the kingdom was full of legendary heroes. So I can't give up. In my ideal world, people can believe in their future. Their birth doesn't matter. Not that I expect it will be easy. I believe in you. <laughs> Familiar words. When I'm down, when I struggle, you're always there to help me through it. <sighs> huh? Let's do it. You'll be a hero. Trust me. I won't give up either. Trust me. That guy is definitely interested in us. He's always looking what we're doing. The northern border fort. One day remains. What the hell was that? So apparently we get like a timer ticking down or something? It, it kind of made me feel anxious actually. <laughs> because even though there's nothing to be anxious about right now, we can't change a thing. But it made me feel like, you know, remember... In Majora's Mask, these um, uh, these black screens where it was twelve hours remaining, or like twenty, like twenty-four hours remaining. I don't remember, but like, yeah, it was, dude. Oh boy. <laughs> 